Hey Rogue, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going on an adventure of racing. So I found this new game, it's a free game, it's called Starlet Kart Racing. And I was already playing the other Starlet games, so I was like, sure, why not? And I love racing games, and it's free! So, it's actually a lot of fun. It's basically just Mario Kart with a few different steps. But it's a lot of fun, so I'm going to be going in order and doing each uh, one. So today we're going to be doing Parallel Peaks on Woo! 150 Let's race. <clears throat> As you can see, I just started this game yesterday, so I don't have any of this unlocked. I'm only like halfway through. Um, as you can see, I still got a long way to go uh, for my skills. But hopefully, we might be fully uh, kitted up by the time we finish this series. So this is my favorite cart. This is the electric cart. Um, electric lightning bolt that hits obstacles and carts. Cool down 10 seconds. That's my super. And then the skill is fill the drift bar faster. That's the future. And you're supposed to be able to customize your stuff. But for some reason, I can't select the hat. And I can't change any of this. So I'm not sure, like, I'm, I'm not sure how to change this. Because, like, when you select it, it just takes you to the next screen. So, if anybody knows, please help me. I want my pirate hat that I earned, and I want my blue flames that I earned. By logging in for two days. Like, for real. Ready, set, go! There we go. Oh, I should warn you, this series is going to be filled with profanity, insults, Screaming, Whoa! calling the other characters bitches, hoes, a little bit of rage, a lot of excitement. I get really into racing games, okay? Racing is my jam. And I turn the music off because it's super loud. It, 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 it gives me a headache when I'm wearing headphones, so um, yeah, I turn that shit off. Ah! Bitch. And a lot of calling people bitches, too. <clears throat> ah! Fucking hell. Don't hit me, don't- Fucking hit me. I mean, it's been a long time since I've played Mario Kart, but I feel like this is a lot more savage. Like, you're constantly getting hit with shit, and, like, you could be doing perfectly fine, and then the next second, you're in last place because you do one little fuck up. It's, it's brutal. Ah, fuck. Oh, I got it. Nice. Fuck out the way, bitch. Ah. So, yeah, I get super into racing games. I love racing so much. I should probably finish these with speed beat A. I'm probably not gonna be recording it anymore, but I still need to find a place for a while. Yes, that's right. First place, baby. Are we already on the third lap? What? We are number one. We are number one. <clears throat> and I'm trying not to cough um, and sniffle too much. Like, my allergies are messing Ready, up. Set, ah! So, if I do do that too much, I apologize. Oh, yeah! I'm trying not to. and still didn't react. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, he missed me. Bless you. Ah! Excuse I missed that key, me. though. Mind you, this is the uh, lowest level. This would be considered easy. And these fuckers are still going hard as fuck. <clears throat> I 
As with most free games, there is a lot of, um, like, microtransactions and shit. Like, you can buy carts and the gems you need to unlock shit. I'm not doing that. Like, I like the game, but I don't like it enough to justify paying for it. Especially when you can, like, get everything you need for free. It just takes time. Did that bone just blow up my bomb? What the fuck? <clears throat> like, I feel like that makes me sound like an ass. Because, like, it's a free game and, like, supports the developers and everything. But I don't really like games Whoa. that are... I say I don't like them, but I play a shit ton of, uh, pay-to-win games. Like, I, I get supporting the developer, but I don't know. Because I don't see this as, like, a long-term game. Because, like, once I get all the trophies, I probably won't ever touch it again. Like, it's a fun game, but you can only do so much, you know? It's like one of those games, you, you want to enjoy it. You play the game, you get the trophies, and then you move on. Doesn't mean it's a bad game. Just for me, one one time's enough. Like once I get all the stuff done, that that that'll be enough. Cause it's gonna take a while to unlock all the cards. Cause there's a trophy to unlock like I think ten cards. And you saw I only have the basic cards. I haven't unlocked any of them. Cause I'm still unlocking the cup. I still have two cups that I need to unlock that I don't have enough for. So yeah, I could just Come like. On, man. Motherfucker. I could just like um pay and unlock everything in one go, but it's eh. Like what's the point of that? Like then you don't really enjoy the game. Enjoy the grind it takes to get there, you know? Like the grind is what makes the game. Like if you grind for the stuff you need, you're playing for fucking a week two weeks, maybe more, depending on how much you play. I'm but one. if you just buy everything and it's just there, you're not grinding. Like, you get everything, like, that day, and then it's like, what's the point? Because then you have nothing to do, because you bought everything already. That's what I don't understand. Because, like, I've been playing free-to-play games, pay-to-win games, for years. What always happens is these rich little bitches, they get into the game, they like the game, they, they actually enjoy the game, so they're like, okay, I have money, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna buy shit. And they buy shit, they become the top of the server, they get all the best shit, but then they get bored because they have nothing to work for. Because they've already bought everything, they've already got, like, um, the Legend of Neverland. Cool. They've already got all their fairies maxed out. There's nothing to work towards. All their skills are maxed. There's just, there's nothing to do anymore because they bought their way to the top. So they don't have anything to work towards, anything to build anymore. So they get bored and they quit. So they, they drop like fucking $1,000, $1,500 on this game. And then they just never touch it again because they already have everything. And it's just, why? Like, I get supporting the developer, I do. And I think it's great. But, it ruins the experience. Like, if you wanna pay them, just donate to them, you know? Don't pay your way to the top and then get bored oh, yeah. because you're the top and no one else can touch you. And there's nothing else in the game to do. And then, oh, really? Just leave the game. Call the game boring. Never touch the game again. It's, it's stupid in my opinion. Like, sorry for the rant. I've just, I've been playing these games for a long time, and I've seen it. And as someone who is not rich, it is very frustrating when you try your hardest to, like, hit the top. And not even really hit the top, just like be able to effectively keep up with everyone. Oh, yeah. And you like start playing the game with someone at the same time or like before them. And then they come in, they drop thousands of dollars on the game. 
and then they're the top, and you're way behind here. You can't catch up to them. You can't, like, it's, it's frustrating for sure. Now it just sounds like I'm complaining, which, Ready. complaining is fun. But I gotta, I gotta focus, because if I don't win this one, I'm not gonna win the cup, which is just depressing. So, all, most of the trophies are pretty easy. They're just, like, a little bit grindy, because you have to, like, keep playing to get more coins to unlock all the skills, and you have to unlock, like, the cards and stuff. Oh, get out of the way! Fucker. Um... So it is, it is a little grindy, um, as with most games. Um, Come on, get out of the way! Brunetta. But the Woo thing... Uh, I think the thing that worries me the most... How did I miss that? <laughs> it went right there. Oh my god. The thing that worries me the most is definitely the 25 wins in a row i still don't fully understand it because i don't know if it's like 25 races in a row or if it's 25 cups in a row like i've seen both and there's not that many people that have like written guides on this at least that i've seen so far i'm gonna have to do a little bit more research because i did just start the game so i haven't really put that much um research into it but people are saying both, so I'm not sure which one it is. And I'm, I'm not going to say I'm a good racer, but I'm not really the worst. Plays pretty well in these, um, even when I do fuck up a lot. Um, that was a really quick race, good lord. So that's the one that worries me the most. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, but we're going to try. We're, we're going to try. I might, I might stream that trophy. We'll see. If I don't automatically get it somehow on my own. Okay. So this rant-filled episode is over. Oh, what should we upgrade? Um, oh, trips. That was Parallel Peaks on 150 CC, uh, which is the easiest difficulty. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll check out the game. It's free. You, you don't lose anything by trying it. It's actually really fun. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!